Vote 2020. In a little less than four hours from now, President Trump and former Vice President Biden will debate which of them should lead our country over the next four years. While the live audience will be limited to 70 people, the TV audience is expected to be among the largest, if not the largest, ever for a first presidential debate. There will be no handshakes. President Trump will take the first question, which was determined with a coin toss. The debate will run for 90 minutes with no commercial breaks. Chris Wallace from Fox News Sunday will moderate. News for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett has been checking with the local political parties about what they expect tonight and is joining us live with what they're telling him. Jim? You know, Tom, as you'd mentioned, lots of people here in Jacksonville are going to be watching this debate, lots of people across the country. And I did talk to the two local party chair about this debate, what they're expecting, and they really say the key here is going to be the undecided voters. And both of them say there are a lot of people still undecided. Even though thousands of people in Jacksonville have already cast their ballots for president, many others are still on the fence. Today, the head of the local Republican Party, Dean Black, talked to us about what they're expecting. What is it that you're going to be watching for? Well, we're going to be watching for a contrast, a great contrast, because the truth is President Trump has accomplished more in 47 months than Biden has in 47 years. And we expect to see a great contrast. And for those voters who are undecided, we think it's going to have an impact for them. And it's also going to cause a lot of people to rethink their support for Joe Biden. And while we were outside today, while some voters cast their ballots, some for their very first time in their lives, they all had their reasons. And the local Democratic Party says the enthusiasm is evident and that you always have people getting engaged in the election around this time of year. So I think there are a lot of people that are still making their decision. Uh, we have a lot of, frankly, a lot of Republicans and MPAs um, that some are still on the fence. Um, they're going to be a major, major factor in uh, states like Florida and counties like Duval. Um, so Vice President Biden is going to be able to give them a plan and a message that will resonate with them. While this is the first of three debates, it may be one of the most important in trying to get that message out for both candidates. So here's what's happening tonight. Republicans say they have several watch parties scheduled for around Jacksonville. Their big one is going to be at the beach at Sneakers Bar and Grill. Now, the Democrats are taking a different approach locally, actually statewide. They're doing a virtual watch party, and we're going to have all that information at newsforjax.com. We're live on the South Bank. Jim Piggott, Channel 4, The Local Station.